MS226, we love you. You're coming back. We look forward to a great school year. Very excited to be on board. We have an amazing staff here and wonderful administration. I'm looking forward to a great year. Very inspirational. I'm really excited. It's a wonderful day. It's a turning point for our school. I know it's going to be a great year. Everyone feels energized and eager for the, for the school year. This is great. I think this is terrific. The kids are having a great time. Two to six rounds. I love this school. This school is like the best school ever. Good job, two to six. Keep it up. I'm so proud because the teachers are very good. This is my daughter's third year at this school and I've seen the transformation from the sixth grade to now the eighth grade. The school is supporting the students to go on the right path. Come on down and join us and help your children in our community. And there's a great transformation happening in here. And it's not only that, but this is going to be a fabulous year of a lot of success. We're going to be turning out real superstars here at MS226. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Castro of Class 710, representing the Human Needs Academy. And I am the Student of the Week from November 30th to December 3rd. My name is Ashley Rodriguez, and there's many things that I like up here about being a student at MS226. One thing is that we have a lot of fun school activities. We have many after-school programs and educational activities that go on in our classroom each and every day. My name is Jade Morales, I'm part of 602, and my favorite part about MS226 is that when they make an effort to do something, they make sure that it's done, and that it's done the right way. And all the students here are excited about the new programs, and if you are elected as Student of the Week, you are also allowed to go on the eighth grade trip to go to Washington, D.C. I see here at 226, there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of activities, a lot of change. The students are also excited about the new programs coming up and you can get high school credits before you even get into high school. So those are some of the things that we can do in MS226 and I think that's really special. This is a good school. This school has um, a lot of diligent, hardworking teachers. I've seen the programs put together. I've seen a tremendous change in the past three months, four months, since we've been um, here with the new administration. I believe this is going to be the year. I'm proud to be a student here at 26. I am proud. I am proud. Yo soy amorosa. I am proud. 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 We are proud! Who does not love MS-226? My name is Monica Murphy, and I am the assistant principal in charge of the Discovery and Exploration Academy, which houses all the sixth grade students here at Middle School 226. The transition to middle school is a very difficult one for most children. However, here at 226, we have created an environment which makes the transition as smooth as possible. We have created a way to infuse the security of the elementary school with the rigorous requirements of middle school. We are committed to giving students an exciting and challenging sixth grade education. Students discover new concepts and explore our world by learning about civilizations in social studies, performing countless experiments in science, and taking adventures in language arts. I was asked, what does it mean to be in the Humanities Academy? And I wrestled with many ideas about creating elaborate breakdown of all the aspects of being in Humanities Academy. However, on the heels of having our Academy picture posted in our hallways, our students did something quite extraordinary. They wrote about this photo and they described how it relates to Humanities Academy and I decided that I would take the words of the students and what the Humanities Academy means to them and put it to you. In middle school to 26, I am glad to be part of this school because it's a cool place to learn and express yourself. My teachers and friends 
are kind and loving. The culture at Middle School 26 makes the school alive and my thoughts thrive. In order to fully understand the concept of humanities, I decided to search for the definition according to Google. Humanities are academic disciplines which study the human condition, foreign languages, arts, literature, philosophy, public speaking, and religion. The Humanities Academy is a great experience for students. Being the leader of the Humanities Academy has brought myself great love, total satisfaction in the educational field, and happiness. My name is David Posner, and I am the Assistant Principal at the Visionaries Academy here at MS226, the Virgil I. Grissom Middle School. As the Assistant Principal at the Visionaries Academy, my purpose is to make sure that all my students are college bound and that my students get the greatest education possible in the New York City school system. Our principal, Rochelle White, has come up with the motto that teaming shapes our vision as we reach for the stars. And I couldn't think of a better motto for our students. As a child growing up, for my birthday, I had asked my grandfather for a watch. And my grandfather brought me back a compass. And when my grandfather gave me the compass for my birthday, I said, why would you give me a compass when I wanted a watch? And my grandfather told me all too many times, children are concerned with time, when they really should be concerned with direction. At MS226, our students have a direction. We're trying to make all our students college bound by providing them with the best quality instruction. And that instruction is differentiated, and that instruction meets the different modalities of student learning. So if you're ever in the neighborhood on Rockaway Boulevard, we're at 121-10 Rockaway. Come by and visit us. I think that you'll find our education in our school to be top notch. I'm Ms. Nancy O'Dwyer. I am the assistant principal in the Renaissance Academy, which is located on the fourth floor in the building. We house seventh, eighth grade and special education students on this floor. We have um, six ARP classes, which are advanced regents placements, and that in June they take their regents exams for the high school. We have a fabulous group of teachers up here on the fourth floor. They're professional, they're dedicated, and their number one priority is the success of their students. They come here every day ready to teach, teaching outside the box, lots of hands-on activities, things that are different for the children, differentiated instruction so every student can learn. They are here to make our students lifelong learners. I must say we have a wonderful staff in this building here. Our community outside is that village and it takes the community, the staff, and the wonderful part of the parents working hand in hand. This is a wonderful school. This is a wonderful foundation that you can start. I say again, with the staff, the administrators, and the wonderful principal that we have in our building, we too can do it. My name is Rochelle White and I'm the principal of MS226 Virgil I. Grissom Junior High School. It gives me great pleasure to take on such a leadership of a wonderful school community, a school of leaders and learners who are all dedicated and committed to the lives of the students at the school. We have 1,500 students who are excited about learning every single day. We have 130 staff members of teachers, school aides, paraprofessionals, assistant principals, guidance counselors, security, custodial staff, and our food and nutritional specialists. And they are all here to ensure that every child is afforded a quality education. This school, Virgil I. Grissom, is named after an astronaut who reached for the stars. Our motto, teaming shapes our vision as we reach for the stars, comes to life every single day at this school. We have teachers who reach for the stars in ensuring that their lessons are rigorous and centered around the child's needs. We have students who reach for the stars who aim to earn a 90 or better because they know that in that will be a reward system at the end of the day. We have students who come in and they want to do better and they want to learn. And we're pushing and challenging our students to aim for the very best in their educational experience at the school. There are four academies 
We have the Discovery and Explorations Academy, which houses the sixth grade students. We have the Humanities Academy, which houses seventh and eighth grade students found on the second floor. On the third floor, we'll have the Visionaries Academies, again housing seventh and eighth graders. And on the fourth floor, we have the Renaissance Academy, housing additional seventh and eighth grade students. Now, each academy is identified by a different color t-shirt, as you'll see. The maroon represents the discovery. The sand color represents humanities. The green represents the visionaries. And the gray represents renaissance. All of the academies are challenged to engage their students in learning that will elevate them and give them a tool bank that will prepare them for success in high school and beyond. We have wonderful teachers who are collaborative team teacher, teachers and independent teachers who collaborate to ensure that every child is afforded hands-on quality instruction. The school community is one in which um, stands in the middle of our community of South Ozone. And we want to ensure that every child in this building represents a part of their community in a positive light. We have peer mediation, we have student government that's in place, we have a few clubs and teams that the students actually created themselves. We are developing leaders and learners, our future, so that our students will be better able to change our community and in turn change our society. I want to thank every single staff member who has dedicated themselves to the lives of our children. They need you. They need you to push them. They need you to challenge them. They need to know that there is structure. They need to know that you care about them. I want to thank all of our students for pushing themselves, for, for recognizing the need for a top-rate education because in today's society, mediocrity does not fly. So reach for the stars, students. Staff members, reach for the stars. Let's come together as a community. Let's ensure that every child, every child who walks out of this building, walks away with the knowledge necessary to, to compete with not only the students in this nation, but also the students worldwide. Let's develop world-class leaders, and let's start by doing that today. I thank you, and we do have an open door policy. Come on over to MS226. Come and see the great work that is done day in and day out.